Welcome back to the Pink Parrot Rumble at Remington, presented by Sailor Cherries. We are in Oklahoma City Pro Boxing this evening, including the Cruiserweight Championship of Oklahoma. That title vacant right now, and stepping into the ring is a guy we've seen before, uh, Marty J.R. Coffrin, ringside. Former heavyweight champion Darren Humphreys. Darren, what should we expect in this bout? Both guys going for their first win, by the way. They both got into a little argument or a little scrap and weigh in, and they're bringing that into the ring right now. A little bit of a grudge match here. Some bad blood between Coffrin and Nero. Uh, that 0-0-1 record for Coffrin, uh, to me, that's a, you know, that doesn't tell the whole story. He fought a great fight against an experienced amateur fighter in his first pro fight. So, uh, you know, and I think he, he obviously showed some of his boxing skill in his last MMA fight. So, you know, I wouldn't let that 0-0-1 record fool you. Uh, Nero, I don't know a whole Let's lot about him. Let's get the announcement from Gerald Whalen. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at Remington Park with four rounds of boxing scheduled in the junior middleweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at an official 151 pounds. From Norman, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Nero! And his opponent from across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at an official 153 pounds. From Chocta, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, J.R. Bambi! We go to Gary Ritter for your instructions. Okay, Jimmy, you're scheduled for four rounds. Give us a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. The foul line's enabled. Both trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Bang at the bell. J.R. Coffin bringing a huge contingency of fans to the fight tonight. That very well may be because he's the HD MMA featherweight champion with a 6-0 record in MMA. He's going for his first win tonight inside the ring. Travis Nero also stop, going stop, for stop, his stop, first stop, win. Stop. Uh, Darren, what do you see so far? Box. Well, they're coming out, bringing the hands and, you know, throwing heat. Oh, great jab there by Nero. Nero, I think, has been very effective keeping Coffrin at long range with his uh, jab in his right hand. Yeah. Oh, oh but great jab, jab by Coffrin there. That jab by mm. Coffrin actually knocked out the mouthpiece of Travis Nero. Let's go. Come on. That's not something you see from a jab Bite that down. often, Darren. No, but Coffrin brings some power, and I think Nero was uh, lucky to have the the fight stopped. Turn in, yeah. Think. Coffin was going to follow that up with some heavy shots. And I I don't know, but I'm predicting you might see a little change in uh, Nero's tentativeness after feeling a taste of that jab power from J.R. Coffin. If he's hitting that hard with the jab to knock out the mouthpiece, you can only imagine what he's going to do with a big sure. right hand or a left hook. Right. And I think you can see the difference in their punches. Uh, Nero's throwing a lot of punches, but he's moving, so he didn't really, he's not sitting down on any of his punches. Mm -hmm. uh, however, Coffrin, you know, when he throws a punch, he's, he's throwing everything into it. He's sitting down on his punches, so he's obviously got more power right now. And, uh, you know, I think Coffrin's stop, stop, best stop, punch, and I wish I would You're see holding. him throw You're it more hold, often, hold, he has box. a whipping left hook to the body. Yes, he does. It's yeah. very effective. Uh, Again, if I were training him, not that I'm qualified to do so, I think I would probably advise him to throw it more often. Once again, he has knocked out the mouthpiece of Travis stop, Nero. Stop. Give me time. This time, Give me time. Yep. This time that was right. a good, great call Over by here. Ritter there, in Over my here. opinion. Uh, you know, Coffin okay. knocked the mouthpiece out again. It spits and, it out uh, again. The I'm action had not stopped, so it wasn't the time for, uh, for Ritter to stop it. Extremely good call by okay. referee Greg Ritter. I'll do my job. Uh, and, and I think the second Tiny time box. the mouthpiece goes out in one round, uh, again, in my opinion, the referee should let it go. Sure. Because at that point, the fighter, uh, if not doing it deliberately, uh, should know enough to not let that happen. Right, and I wonder if that's a little bit of uh, maturity there from, from Nero. It looked like, uh, you know, as soon as Crawford lands a hard punch, that mouthpiece goes out. So maybe he's meaning for that to happen. Yeah, now Nero, of course, is no uh, no stranger to the fight game. He has seven fights as a 
an MMA fighter in the right. amateurs going three and four. This is not new territory for him, uh, but uh, Coffrin seems the much more complete fighter to me at this point. Yeah, he does, and uh, he's obviously the stronger fighter too, in my opinion. You know, both of these guys have about the same amount of experience. Uh, they have the same amount of fights as far as pro boxing goes, and they've got the pretty much the same amount of fights in MMA. Nice body punches landed oh, by Coffrin, but then Nero throws a straight right hand right as Coffrin is coming in, and he is staggering around the ring. Referee Gary Ritter giving it the eight count. Coffrin doesn't know where he is. The referee calling him in, wiping off the gloves. Only seconds left here in round one. High drama at Remington Park, and that is the end of round one. Stick around, round two coming up. Introducing Quantum CBD H2O, a premium perfect pH phytocannabinoid water beverage with electrolytes and minerals, chemical solvent free, organically derived nutrients, non-GMO, THC free, phytocannabinoid rich, full spectrum PCX technology, scientifically developed for the human condition. Experience the entourage effect, feel the power, revitalize, rebuild with Quantum CBD H2O. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Thoroughbreds. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Don't miss the final day of the live Thoroughbred season, featuring the $400,000 Springboard Mile, cash prizes, and your free 2018 calendar. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till the end of the day. We're gonna rock, gonna rock, gonna round the clock. And only at Remington Park. J.R. Coffrin coming off a stunning knockdown right at the end of round one after dominating against Travis Nero. Uh, Darren, I thought Coffrin really dictated everything about that round except the last 10 seconds. How do you score it? Well, I would have to give that round to Nero, obviously. Oh, down another right hand! Again. And referee Gary Ritter waves off the fight. That is the end. Travis Nero. One punch can change anything in the fight game. Travis Nero figured out the formula with that straight right hand as J.R. Coffrin was pouring in with his hands too low. This fight ends in the second round. We'll have the details coming up. Let's go. Guys, I said no gloves at the table. <laughs> Listen to your mother. Metro PCS brings you closer than ever to the UFC. Anytime, anywhere. On a reliable network that covers 99% of people in the US. Metro PCS, wireless figured out. What a surprising ending to this bout as Travis Nero knocks out J.R. Coffrin in round number two. Let's send it up in the ring to Gerald Whale. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout proudly brought to you by Monkey Shoulder ends at 17 seconds into the second round. Your winner by knockout out of the blue corner, Travis Nero. Okay, Darren Humphrey, I will be the first to admit I was surprised by that outcome. Surprised? I'm shocked. <laughs>
Surprise is well, not strong enough word for Darren Humphrey. And I th- and I think that tells us, you know, what I've what I've said a few times tonight is in the fight game, one punch can change anything, and I think we saw an example of that right there. Can completely turn it around, and let's give some credit to Travis Nero for being smart enough to capitalize on J.R. Coffin being hurt still yeah. when he came out for the beginning of round number two. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we got to give a little bit of credit to uh, Kendrick Coleman, his trainer. You know, he's an experienced uh, guy in the in the fight game. And, uh, you know, I think maybe that had a little bit to do with it, in my opinion. This is the Pink Parrot Rumble at Remington, brought to you by Sailor Jerry's. We have many more great fights, including our main event, the Cruiserweight title on the line. Stay with us.